What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Happy New Year. Um, I might be a few days late, but it's a thought that counts, right? Anyway, we have a brand new video for you. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So with the end of the Mad City Christmas event coming to a close in just over a week, it's time to decide whether or not it's worth it to finish the grind. And as you may know, they did nerf the amount of challenges a while back, I believe a week after the event release. So it's actually a lot easier to get the rewards now. So keeping that in mind, is it in fact worth it to go ahead and grind this event to the finish? Let's see. Now we'll start off with one of the main vehicle rewards and that is the Lynx. Editing 4 Kitty here to tell you to subscribe. Less than 1% of you are. Do it. The Lynx is a one-seater land vehicle that resembles a sled or sleigh depending on what you call it. It's pretty fast, it has instant acceleration, and it's a solid reward for being a free vehicle. But it does have one major flaw which I'll get into a little later into the video. But as you can see, it also has a strangely fast speed in water. I don't know why the developers did this, but you know, I guess it's a thing. Now, getting into the main flaw of this vehicle, because it doesn't have wheels and instead has sleds, it can get over even minor obstacles. As you can see, you get stuck over that tiny bump in the road. But apart from that, it's pretty fast. Its boost lasts about three seconds, but it doesn't really do much for acceleration. It's kind of useless. So overall, I'd give this vehicle a solid like 2.7 out of five. The second and biggest vehicle reward, quite literally, is the Dachund. Uh, Dachund? I don't know. How are you supposed to pronounce this thing? And as you can see, from the customization menu it has literally every customization available in the game so in terms of customizability is really cool it's supposed to be some kind of mercedes obviously made post-apocalyptic to match the season but i would it's a pretty solid vehicle one flaw is because it's so big your camera can't actually zoom out to see the whole thing so i guess i'll have to make the camera zoom out a little bit more just for this thing but Apart from that, it's, it's pretty solid. It has solid handling, solid speed, decent acceleration with boost. The drifting is a bit scuffed, as you can see. For some reason, the drift marks are made in the air, and it's not consistent. But another interesting thing you can see about the vehicles is when you spawn the Lynx next to, like, the thing on the podium of the Christmas event, they're basically the same size. The, the, the model and the actual vehicle are the same size. But the Dachund, you can see it's about as tall as I am. But when I go and spawn this thing, it's absolutely massive. I don't even get up to its wheelbase. So it's a really big vehicle and it has health that shows that it has 800 health. So that's double the number of health that normal vehicles have. So it's pretty solid, especially if you don't, if you're on tank cooldown or you don't have a tank. It's gonna have a ton of health. It has, I believe it has the same amount of health as a SWAT truck, and that's a paid vehicle. Anyway, after you get the Dachun, so that means you completed the whole event, you can also claim the Cluck and Ski Cap. As you can see, I'm holding number 310 right now, and there's still 6,000 remaining. It's kind of sad that we don't have a community of 12,000 active players, because the challenge is coming to a close, and honestly, it's not even halfway like past its max reward number. Now, cutting off my rant about our active players, you can see there are also a bunch of other rewards, which are mostly spoilers for customization items. And you can see I've claimed all of them, I've completed all the challenges. But, let me spawn in my Camaro and show you something interesting. There's currently a bug in the game, and for some reason all of those spoilers, as you can see the Crown of Fjord, that's one of the ones I own. It's locked behind season three. I can't actually equip it, even though I mark it as claimed, but you can't equip it onto your car, which is really strange. Hopefully they do fix it, especially with the event coming to a close. That's kind of a bummer. So just keep that in mind if you're grinding just for a specific spoiler. Um, hopefully they will probably fix it sometime later, but for now it is broken. So should you finish the event? Yes. Why? Because the Dachund is going to be really rare in trading because only 6,000 of them have been claimed so far. And it's pretty easy as well. So as always, if you enjoyed, subscribe. See ya!